Okay, here we are. We're down at the Southern District of New York once again. UN bribery case number two. We were here earlier this week for Ang Lap Sang, final spasm of trying to stay out of jail for bribing the UN. Pat, uh, John Ash, PGA. Now we're here for a 2.30 pre-trial conference in the case of Patrick Ho of the China Energy Fund Committee. He's the man who bribed, allegedly, allegedly, of course, uh, Sam Kutesa, President of the General Assembly, now Foreign Minister of Uganda. In fact, then as now, Foreign Minister of Uganda. In order for oil concessions and concessions to banks in Uganda, he also bribed uh, the president of Chad, uh, Idris Deby, and various other UN individuals. No one from the UN covers this, but I've come down. I've actually been, I'm currently banned from the UN for my coverage of the UN budget. The UN is entirely corrupt. That's the one thing these prosecutors, whether it's Mr. Richenthal, uh, Ms. Etchenberg, they need to understand that the root of the problem here, the, the defendants keep changing, but there's one constant, the UN is corrupt. So we have a huge backpack with us because we have no place to leave our bag during the day, unlike when we were non-resident correspondents in the disgustingly corrupt UN. How can they throw a journalist in the street for 16 days, you ask, for being actually roughed up by UN security, as reported by Fox and The Independent from the left and the right? Well, you can find out. The UN is corrupt. Antonio Guterres hasn't even started an audit of the China Energy Fund Committee scandal. He's more corrupt than Ban Ki-moon, and he's totally willing to censor to protect it. So we're going to go in to be continued. Okay, here we are. We just covered the uh, motions to dismiss by Patrick Ho in the famous China Energy Fund Committee case, UN bribery case number two. And what I can say is every single motion to dismiss was denied by Judge Preska. She went down the line. The first argument was... <laughs> It was, she went right down the line, it was on the statutory meaning of whether Mr. Patrick Ho is a domestic concern or if he is a domestic concern, can he be exempt under 78 uh, uh, little d? And she said, no, you can plead in the alternative. And number two, he's a foreign national. He's a, uh, a citizen of China, resident of Hong Kong, that worked for a domestic concern, which was the, quote, energy uh, NGO, which was China Energy Fund Committee. In any case, she knocked those down pretty fast. Then there was a second argument, which is one that's been written about, and we've written about it as well, which is that he seems to be arguing under money laundering statutes that a transfer from HSBC Hong Kong to HSBC to New York to Mashrack Bank New York to Mashrack Bank Dubai is not really in the United States. It's just through the United States and therefore not uh, subject to this money laundering rule under a case called Harris. She shot that down and went back to an older case called Dakaret, D-A-C-C-R-A-R-E-T-T, which said clearly that, that these are all separate transactions and that this is the purpose. Now, I've heard it argued that this case, China Energy Fund Committee, because he's being held uh, responsible for, for uh, a transfer that went from Hong Kong to New York and then to Dubai or from Hong Kong to New York and then to Uganda, that somehow that's unfair, uh, that people will stop transferring money through New York. If so, so be it. But in this case... As, as the judge said, not only did the money come through New York, he used New York and specifically the United Nations. He has a U.N. pass, which right now Inner City Press doesn't have for covering, covering this sleazy corruption of the United States, uh, of the United Nations. He, uh, China Energy Fund Committee is a U.N. accredited NGO, just like CPJ. <laughs> anyway, yes, they're accredited to ECOSOC, and they use that status to pay bribes to PGA Sam Kutesa for these oil concessions in Uganda. It's a UN bribery case, and yet there were no UN journalists down here. Only Inner City Press, which was is banned from the UN for covering UN, UN uh, corruption. Antonio Guterres is corrupt. He hasn't even audited who else CF, CEFC, the energy NGO, has bribed. It's still accredited to ECOSOC, which is presided over by the Czech Republic ambassador, whose president has Ye Jimin of CEFC China Energy as an advisor. It's an outrage. The UN is suffused, infused, penetrated by corruption, and its only answer has been to throw a journalist in the street. Well, today, motions to dismiss were all denied. No, no pass. Not at all. I came here as a, as a, as a citizen journalist. Here's my pad. Every motion dismissed denied. Mr. Ho still in jail. UN still corrupt. To be continued.